there is a certain comforting smell to wood burning. If you've ever done it, you know exactly what I mean. There's nothing like a nice, wide basswood plaque on the table in front of you, sanded to perfection. There's a fan droning off to the side, but you're careful not to have it pointed directly at you because the airflow will make the temperature of your wood burning tool fluctuate. All the possibilities that the wood in front of you could hold, and you have to choose one. You take a sip of something refreshing. You know the task at hand, and so you begin. Slowly, one line at a time, you must choose a result. The piece never holds more potential than when the tip of that wood burner first touches down. All sense of the passage of time fades away. Every change you make to the organic canvas in front of you cancels out and forever eliminates a million other possibilities. You are gradually narrowing it down. The end result gets closer and closer, more and more crisp in your mind as it grows more and more complete in front of you. It grows by becoming more specific. The result is rarely exactly what you imagined. That's not a bad thing necessarily. It's just how it works. That is to say, it is work. Even if it is relaxing, entrancing work, it's still work. If it came easy, then everyone would be on Michelangelo's level. You have to work to come up with an idea, and then you have to work to hold on to that idea the whole time you're trying to implement it. It all comes down to the Latin motto I had in the coat of arms I designed in the last video. A posse et esse. From possibility to actuality. As Bales and Orland said, a finished piece is, in effect, a test of correspondence between imagination and execution. But then, of course, there is always the caution against having unreachable expectations and imaginations. It's good to have bold ideas, new and far-reaching intentions, brave and ambitious propositions. But if you are too bold, if you reach too far, if you are too brave, you will find yourself disappointed time and time again. So instead, work harder than people think you will, practice more than you think you can, and you will find out what you can really do.